Hey, what is going on everyone? Sabretooth here and today I'm gonna be opening up a bunch of these quick sell packs and Testing them out and seeing if you can make your coins back and even make some profit now that the pack gods are raised Guys if you are new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and smash that like button Also down below in the description I'm gonna leave my email and guys I've been opening more and more packs now that the odds are raised and I've really been seeing some improvements EA's made in the probability of pulling these better cards better quick sells I've not yet tested quick sells I barely ever do these so this is something pretty special for me but if you guys do have any accounts that you want me to open a bunch of special packs on nothing like pro packs or beginners packs something that I could do on my own channel but anything special that you guys think would make an awesome video go ahead and talk to me there on the email you guys can send me screenshots of what you have get some negotiations rolling and I would love to open packs for you guys. I'll give you all shout outs if I do use your account. So make sure to go do that if you are interested. Now guys, as I was talking about, EA has raised these pack odds. And I've been getting pretty lucky with pro packs lately. I'll make another pro pack video soon. But I really want to start a series on just kind of analyzing all these packs. And their potential for making money for the majority of you guys. Now, I know a lot of you guys don't have millions of coins. And the reason I want to do this is to give you a realistic interpretation of sort of your chances of making your money back. Now, obviously, everybody's going to pull packs differently. Some people have better pack luck than others. That's just how it works. But you can always get lucky. And especially in this sort of range, I'm buying about 200,000 worth of these. Each of these quick sales is worth about 20,000 coins. I have 10 of them. So I'm sure a lot of you guys could afford this. So I'm giving you just... I'm showing you guys what you could actually get if you did go ahead and spend your 200,000 coins on them as well as opening some of these treasure hunts and a team of the week pay player pack and seeing if we can pull an elite from that. So guys, let's start it out. Let's do these treasure hunt packs first. These are free from the live event, but I've seen pull people pull some pretty nice things from these. So let's give it a shot and see how it goes. Let's start with this one right here. Treasure hunt reward pack number one. I don't know how many of these I have, like seven, something like that. Taking a really long time to open the pack here. Hopefully that means it's generating all my coins for the 5,000 right here, so we get 1,000. That's not that bad considering it's just a three or four stamina live event. I will take that any day. I'm going to say 750. 800 coins, only 50 off. All right, so honestly, 1,000 coins from the live event is not too bad at all. There's 500, so maybe I jinxed myself there fourth one guys 700 coins so these seem like they're going to be about 500 to a thousand coins not anything too special there's a 900 that seems exactly about the range you're going to get i doubt i'm going to pull anything over a thousand let's see so we get a thousand there so a thousand from these is not bad i think that's about what you're going to be looking at so if you do play this live event a bunch when it's out you can expect about i'd say 750 to 800 coins every time so if you use all your stamina on that and you play it, I don't know, 10 times, you could be making 8,000 coins. Not too bad for somebody who's just starting out the game. So guys, what do we want to do first? The Team of the Week player pack or Quick Sells. Let's start with some Quick Sells. Maybe mix in the Team of the Week player and then finish up the other ones. So let's start with this first one here, guys. So as I say, each one of these costs about 20,000 coins. And honestly, I have no idea if EA ra raised the pack odds on these. That's what I'm trying to test out today. I know they raised them on pro packs and all those other packs. The odds of elites have really gone up and I've definitely seen the change. But these, I have no idea. So we're looking for something. We're going to get a lot of 11s. There's a 15,000. Not too bad. Still losing money on that pack, but not too much. So let's see what we can get here. We get a 12,000. You're going to get a lot of 11 and 12,000s. You're just looking for that one that really just pays for a ton of packs. So 10,000 again, guys. Looks like we're consistently losing money from every single one of these. Can we make it back, though? 10,000 again, guys. These packs are not too great. I'm looking for maybe a 25k here. So 7.5k. Jinxed myself. So, guys, if you are looking to spend money, quick sales do not... Oh, there we go. What was I saying? 50,000 coins there. So that about makes about a lot of my money back. I was about to say that quick sell packs are not the way to go if you're looking to make money. And I definitely still stick by that 15,000 coins there. They're not a smart investment, but honestly, if you're looking to get kind of risky with it and you're not afraid to spend a couple coins, 40,000 coins there, 
these might not be too bad of a way to go I'm sure you can lose coins if you do them in small quantities 12,000 there so that's why I tried to do 10 of them 200,000 coins seems about a valid amount to spend on these and test our luck so 25k there so let's go let's just finish up this team of the week player pack go quick sell all those and see if we made any money back so here we go can we get an elite I know I think there's two elites from this team of the week and from this I don't think you can pull I think there's a 92 overall Thomas Davis senior linebacker card really nice card but I don't think that's pullable from this can we get an elite and we get the Mike Wallace so that's not too great Mike Wallace it's a good card but it's definitely not one of the best ones so I'll just show you guys real quick the team of the week you guys probably have all seen it it's an all right team of the week in my opinion I really do like the Thomas Davis senior the pack pulled one this Cameron Wake is a decent card I think it's 90 overall with 81 speed looks like the sets don't want to load here if this takes too long guys I will just get back to you and yeah this is taking a while looks like Mad Mobile's lagging so I will get back to you and it will quick sell everything and see how much money we made guys so that was all my quick sells right there but i kind of want to analyze exactly how much you guys would be spending if you did want to make these sets and exactly what you should be buying the trophies for so the gold trophies i bought all these for about 3800 coins i'd say they are snipes you can get them easily for 4000 but if you want to save some money i would say go ahead and snipe them a lot drop each round you should be able to get two or three every single time 4000 coins there is a decent amount to snipe if you want to play it safe and not have to snipe 4300 seems to be the range where there's a decent amount sitting there not too hard to snipe there's ones there they are posted and they go decently quickly so 4000 let's just say 4000 coins as a baseline for the gold trophies that's 16,000 for them the silver trophies I believe should cost you about a thousand coins I just got all my silver trophies just from live events and sets and things like that and doing player packs so you guys probably have a lot sitting around and the bronze trophies honestly they go for 200 coins less than that you guys probably have a ton sitting around yourselves so I just used the silver and bronze trophies I already had bought some of the gold ones so I spent I'd say 16,000 per pack so I spent about a hundred sixty thousand coins keep in mind I did have some trophies already on my bench so if we make anything back over 160,000, I will be pretty happy. So let's start at the back here. Obviously, my offense quickness comes up. I do have two of those left over from the domination set. Let's do all these smaller ones first. Get those out of the way. So 3,800 there. Let's just go ahead and place all of these in. So 3,800 and adding these all up. Let's see what we can get. So we get to 210,000. So a total of about 214,000 coins. Which honestly is not that bad even if I had bought all the trophies and it would have cost me maybe a little under 200,000 coins I made about 10,000 from it which is not that good but honestly you guys can make a ton more obviously you could lose some coins as well but I just wanted to do this experience experiment because I have yet to do it on the channel and it turned out pretty well let's just open some pro packs because these have been pretty fire lately and round off the video I'm just gonna do four of these four or five see what we can get use the profit from those quick sales to pay for these packs we get an Alan Hearns there nothing too good second pack can we get anything on this and we get an Eric Reed good card if you are starting your team off nice speed and nice hit power there so we get a Hunter Henry 75 tight end not a good pull at all guys these packs are looking pretty dull right now Jonathan Cyprine 77 safety in the last pack these packs I might have just wasted all my profit but honestly whatever guys looks like we're gonna end it with a Jeremy Zuda Zuda how do you ever you pronounce that ended off with him 78 cent center so the pro packs were not too good today but the quick sales treated me pretty nicely if you guys do want to try it out go ahead buy some of these quick sales take a risk break some ankles guys send me emails there of screenshots or if you guys want me to get packs and i will see you guys in the next video peace